I Love Results Day is nearly here and we know it can be a mix of emotions. If you don't get the grades you're hoping for, listen up. First of all, if your uni space depends on the grades you get, don't forget to check UCAS Hub. They may still have accepted you. I've known people to be accepted with grades a fair deal lower than the original requirements. And if you're here because you think this isn't going to be the case, please do just take a moment to yourself to think about your next steps. I'm really sorry that you're worrying and that it's not going as plain sailing as we all want it to be for you. But we're here to help you navigate as we have been over the past few days with tips and suggestions. So let's talk about the options you have and why there's no need to panic. So first things first, do your best to stay calm. Not getting the grades you expected can be disappointing, but remember it's not the end of the road. It will hurt at first, but I promise there are plenty of options available and you do have the resilience to bounce back. Here are some steps and options to consider if you don't get the grades you need. So first of all, talk to your teachers. They can provide guidance and discuss your options based on your specific situation. They know you well. If relevant to you, take advantage of clearing. Universities often have places available through clearing and this is a great opportunity to find a course that suits you and secure a place at university. I always say that this may even be a blessing in disguise. I really believe everything happens for a reason. You'll meet people you'd never have met going somewhere else. You'll learn things you may not have learned at your original uni. You'll see things you may not have seen. It might not be what you wanted, but it could well be what you didn't even know you needed. Now, don't forget, clearing is a process where universities fill any remaining places on their courses. It's open until mid-October, giving you plenty of time to explore your options, but unis won't wait around to fill their courses. They do want them full and other students will want to fill them too. So check the UCAS website regularly for available courses. Don't waste too much time and don't hesitate to call universities to discuss your interest. Hopefully you'll have a plan prepared by now of other options that you can pounce on straight away. But if you don't, try your very best to be flexible. Watch YouTube videos of tours around unis you're interested in. Look at reviews, look at rankings, look at the area and look at courses that are similar, but maybe slightly different in terms of what it's even called. It might be that you find something amazing and almost identical to what you wanted, but it's just called something slightly different or has different modules. Of course, if you're interested in a specific course or university, give them a call. Universities are very supportive and can offer valuable advice on how to proceed. Try to get some informal offers over the phone too. Be assertive. Now, of course, besides clearing, there are other pathways to consider as well. So you've got gap years, taking a year out to gain work experience, travel or retake exams can be really beneficial and it gives you time to improve your application and come back stronger. You've got apprenticeships and vocational courses. These can offer hands on experience and a direct path into your chosen career. Many industries highly value that experience as well. Exploring those courses can open up exciting career opportunities that you might not have even considered before. Like I've said in other videos, for my brother, university just didn't appeal to him, but he did an apprenticeship literally in our small town and is now working at a company that gives him a company car. It lets him travel for work and training. He works from home all for a really good salary. So remember, not getting the grades you wanted doesn't define your future. Many successful people didn't follow a straight path to their careers. It's all about being proactive. It's rethinking your route and not giving up. So stay positive, keep an open mind and explore all the opportunities available to you. You've worked really hard and this is just one step in your journey. So use this experience to grow and discover new possibilities. We're rooting for you, obviously, and there's always paths to success. So good luck.